All right, John, before we get too far into this, I'm just gonna say, this thing is gonna hurt some feelings. Oh, it's already gonna hurt all the feelings. All of them. So late last year, I got a phone call from our friends over at EAA saying that they're coming out with a 1911 that's gonna hurt a lot of feelings. I was like, okay. And he goes, no, I've got a 1911 so feature packed at a price that's so unbelievable, it's gonna hurt some feelings. I said, all right, I'll believe it when I see it. So at SHOT Show, they released The Untouchable. So you're telling me for 396, you can get custom Cerakote job. Yeah. In multiple colors. Yeah. Skeletonized hammer. Yeah. Custom grips. Yeah, the the, the cool hexagon grips, yeah. Ambi safety. Yeah, ambi safety, uh huh. Three dot sights. Yeah, three dot Novak sights, to be exact. Picatinny. Yeah, hmm. you can get a Picatinny rail on this one, yeah. Flared Magwell. Yeah, Flared Magwell, that's uh, removable. For 396. Yeah, for 396. That's untouchable. So let's go ahead and start off the review. First we have is build quality. And for me, it's a four. And I'm gonna be very nitpicky on this. There's a little bit of play in the barrel. There's a little bit of kind of grit in the grip safety. Other than that, everything else seems very well built. I'm gonna give it a five because especially at this price point, I didn't have really high expectations and the value that you're getting out of this thing is great. The slide is really smooth. Is it comparable to you know guns that are a couple thousand dollars? No, it's not. But is it really close? It really is. This, the, the build quality on this is surprisingly good and it is, it's, it's tight. Next we have is reliability. And I'm gonna have to give that a five because it's ran every round we put through it. So in terms of reliability, I'm also gonna have to give it a five. It pretty much ate everything we ran through it. Next is feel. And that is a five for me. It feels like a 1911. It's got, I really do like these grips. They're not overly textured, but they just feel really good in the hand. It does have checkering in the front and rear. I'm gonna give it a five for feel. I like the way a 1911 feels in my hand. It's a five. I'm gonna give it a four. What I will say is in 45 ACP, the slide, the spring is really heavy. Like it's it's heavier than I found on a lot of other 19 elements. It's just something to keep in mind. Um, to your point, the checkering on the grip is great. The other thing I will say is the grip safety. It's It tends to stick out a little bit further and the spring on that is a little bit heavy. We didn't have any issues shooting it, but it just felt like initial feel. It felt a little bit heavy. So that's also just something to kind of keep in mind. Well, it's funny you bring up the trigger and I learned something about the trigger the trigger on it is really good. I do like the It trigger. is a good trigger, it it's really is. It's a good trigger. But, go ahead and drop the mag. Get the safety off, we're clear. So, if you depress the grip safety, and it's just something you gotta get used to, if you depress the grip safety slightly, the trigger feels heavy. Yep. It's not like a very heavy heavy, but it's a little bit, I would say it's like six pounds. Mm -hmm. Now, if you give this thing a death grip and really get that uh, grip safety pushed all the way in, the trigger's like a five pound trigger. Yep. It's night and day difference, and that has a lot to do with grip, and it does have to do with that grip safety being a little bit heavier sprung. Now, again, I've talked to EAA on this. There is a reason behind it. It has to do with the spring weights over in Turkey. It's just what they put in there, so unfortunately. But that's an easy fix if you know a competent gunsmith. Highly recommend on 1911s to use a gunsmith. Don't ask me how I know. Um, <laughs> next thing we have is factory options. And I guess I gotta give it a five because there's a lot of factory options just for the colors and the caliber for the untouchable and the, the size of it. But I guess you could also throw the influencer in there and give it a little bit more. So yeah, it's a five for factory options. I'm also gonna give it a five. Now, when you compare this to something like a Glock, no, there's not as many options. But again, on this platform, there's not a ton that you're really gonna do there. And it is, you're gonna tend to leave it pretty much the way it is. And that being said, this thing does, it comes feature packed. Next is aftermarket. And aftermarket is a five, it's a 1911. There's a big aftermarket support for 1911s. You can get different grips, you can get different, 
safety types. You could go send it off to somebody to tune it. I mean, the, the sky's the limit with a 1911, just like a Glock. So for aftermarket, I'm also gonna give it a five. There's obviously, it is, like you mentioned, it's a 1911, so there's tons of options available. The one thing I will say is because it comes standard with that flared magwell, um, if you use standard 1911 mags, it's they, they recess and they set back in there, so it's a little bit hard to get in. So it does, you're gonna have to go with the Metgar mags with the extended on it. Speaking on magazines, Kurt, mm -hmm. this right here is a Metgar mag. You can see how the follower is. While we were testing this, we had two extra GI bags that we brought with us. Now, unfortunately, to keep the price down on the Untouchable, it only comes with one Metgar mag. If you've bought anything from EAA, they normally come with one mag to help keep price down, and it comes in a small plastic hard case. Now, we ran standard GI mags that I pulled from my Springfield GI 1911 to go shoot with this. You did mention mm -hmm. the the mag inserting, it can be hard, but also the the slide release and slide lock does not like those mags either. They did not lock the slide back while we were shooting and they were hard to get pulled out of the gun. So we called EAA, they're looking into it now. They have admitted that they have not tested with anything but the Metgar mags and the Me Chip McCormick mags, which are known for being very good mags. And that, you know, because of the magwell, these mags fit better with the little pinky extension. So they've been exclusively testing with these mags. That being said, this is removable. I know our friend over Clover Attack just did a review on this. He did remove this from his gun. You're paying for it either way. I like it on there. It does help with- I definitely like it on there. The other thing I'll say too is I, having issues with 1911 mags isn't just to this gun, yeah. right? I think we've all seen that where it just, it does. It depends on the gun and the mag and you've got to try them out. And, and we've all bought, you know, a number of different 1911 mags because you can find them everywhere. And, and I've gone through that process where you're like, okay, you know, you buy five of them and four of them work great. One of them doesn't. Now, for those of you who are saying, John, doesn't that have to do with re reliability? The gun ran with the, the GI mags. We had no issues with the gun running. And it also ran with the mags that it came with, or the mag yeah. that it came with. And we had no prop, no failures to feed, no failures to jack, nothing like that with the standard GI mags. All we did have was the slide not locking back. So the, once we isolated it, that it was a mag issue and not a gun issue, it doesn't affect the reliability. So next we have an X Factor. An X Factor for me is a five. A $396 gun with ambi safety, extended beaver tail, checkering, Custom grips, magwell, custom Cerakote job. That's the X factor right there. There are guns that cost triple the price that don't offer you the same amount of features. Yes, you're paying for a name. Yes, it, it, they may be a little bit smoother, but if you're getting into the 1911 game and you want a feature packed gun, but don't want to spend thousand dollars, if it's your first 1911, like this, should be top of your list. X Factor for me is a five. If I could give it more, I would. Like you mentioned, the fact that this gun comes in at under $400 is absolutely amazing. I love the fact that they called it the untouchable. The fact that EAA basically came to the plate with, we're gonna hurt some feelings and we're gonna have a really, really feature packed gun for an insanely low price. You can't get into, the, into a 1911 anywhere near this. Even, even for like a, it's just like a standard base model, it's hard to find something in this price range. And to be this feature packed and the fact that it comes with a custom Cerakote job, you know, from the factory, that's awesome. Yes, it's made in Turkey. But again, a lot of the guns coming out of Turkey right now are really, really good. I mean, look at Canik, look at SAR, right? In terms of reliability and, and build quality, they're, they've definitely come to the plate. And Kurt, to your point, I mean, yes, you know, Turkey is no, has been known, quote unquote, for very cheap million made guns. Guys, those are the shotguns, the cheap right. shotguns. The handguns are actually ISO factories. They're ISO 9000 factories. They have to be up to the highest standards. 
And I think the other thing to really mention there is the fact that EAA, they do, they have a lifetime warranty on their products. So if you do happen to have any issue, you're good to go. Kurt, yep. here comes the final question. The question that we always ask, are you touching the untouchable? Whoa, whoa. And by that, I mean, are you are you a buyer? We just got a YouTube strike, I think. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely a buyer. I mean, how can you argue with this thing? At this price point, and as feature-packed as it is, you can't go wrong. It's a great gun. The quality is there. The workmanship is there. Again, they've got a lifetime warranty on this. I see no reason why you wouldn't do this. I'm also a sucker for 1911s. Love them. They're fun. You know, 45s. Two world wars, even though it's from Turkey. Whatever. Uh, I mean, Turkey was in a world war. That's true. Two, know. actually, two world wars. Yeah, two world wars. But I think that's kind of weird. That's they were really. the Ottomans first. Yeah. Oh well. Istanbul, not Constant. Anyway. Istanbul, Constantinople. Okay. All right, John. So, how about you? Are you a buyer? I'm gonna have to say yes. I mean, listen. I've bought 1911s in the past. I've got some 1911s that are fifteen hundred dollars. There are some 1911s. Uh, one of the biggest 1911 co companies out there. We all know their name. That you can't even touch this amount of features for under nine hundred dollars. Right. I mean, they really came out swinging with everything that you need or you would want to do to a 1911. That being said, like, yes, I'm a buyer on this. Would I like to get an optics cut? Yes, but if I buy the optics cut version of the Influencer, I'm up to like 600 bucks. Right. So it's a $200 difference. But yeah, this is like, this is, if, if, if you're in the market for a 1911, like I said, if you're looking for your first 1911, you're just getting into this, I would highly look at the Untouchable because at $396, you're getting what the bigger guns are for like half the price. Right. And you're really not sacrificing no. much, if anything. And and that being said, if it's your first foray into the 1911, it might be your last foray into the 1911 because it's so good. Mm -hmm. But also this gives you the opportunity to learn, to see if you really like this platform. It has everything you want. So if you do want to buy one of these semi-custom 1911s, this is a way to learn if you really want to get into it. Right. Now, is it as buttery smooth as some of the other ones that are out there? And, and you know, is it as tight as, as what you're going to find? No. But again, those are going to be two, three thousand dollars $3,000, right? Well, I mean, listen, I can be... When I was working behind the gun counter long, long ago, we were a Wilson Combat dealer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I kind of got spoiled with like super smooth, nice 1911s mm -hmm. that we got to shoot and play with. Yes, there is a little barrel play that happens. It's not much. Yes, the grip safety is a little strong. Y yes, yes, the recoil spring is heavy. heavy. Yes, the recoil spring is heavy, but the slide is smooth. It's very smooth. Mm -hmm. And no, I'm not dropping it on an empty chamber fund. EIA could have easily charged anywhere from five to seven hundred dollars for this gun, and they chose not to because they were like, "Hey, let's let's pass on the savings to the customer." Right? I definitely give them credit for that. Oh yeah, they passed it on all the savings to the customer and built a 1911 that you could really just get into. The first gun that I bought, right, as an adult, was a 1911. And it was bare bones and nothing to it. And I'm sure, I think I probably spent five, 600 bucks, right? So the fact that you can get this for under $400, that's amazing. The first 1911 I bought was $300 used and it had GI sights on it. Mm -hmm. Like this, if this was around when I was buying my first 1911, I would buy it. Yes, it only comes with, now there are some downsides, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, it only comes with one mag. Yeah. Yes, it comes into like the smallest plastic box that you've ever seen. Kurt picked it up today while we're very focused. I was like, how does that even fit in there? <laughs> He's like, what is this? I, I would rather them go this route. And honestly, yeah. I, I personally, I would rather all gun manufacturers go that route. Put the money into the gun itself. And the, this is just a... Now... Uh, here's the other thing I'll say on that, to your point. That's a really good 
Cerakote job. Oh, very like it's good solid. Stuff. Like Cerakote job. Yeah. Now, yes, there is, and I'm not gonna lie, there there's some a little bit of wear, but that's just to be had with any Cerakote. It can wear, but it looks so good. Like even the, all the parts are Cerakoted, the trigger Cerakoted to match this pattern. You're paying three hundred and ninety six dollars. You can't even get this Cerakote job. No. No, if you wanted to get a custom Cerakote job, it's probably going to be more than that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't get this, the Cerakote job for more than you're paying for the whole gun. We want to thank our sponsor, Click Click Bang out of Chandler, Arizona. Be sure to check them out. Yeah, we also want to thank EAA for sending this out. Guys, comment below down what was your first 1911 and if you want to get the Untouchable and what your thoughts are on it. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.